and welcome back to the Lazy Girls Kitchen. If you are new, I'm Maggie and welcome. Today we are going to be making blondies, but we're going to spice them up a little bit and make them Easter style by adding in some crushed Easter eggs, some chocolate eggs. I'm so excited to share it with you. This will be perfect for your Easter tables. So let's get started. To start out, we're going to go ahead and combine some sifted flour, some baking soda, and salt. I'm going to give that a rough toss, and then we're going to go ahead and set that aside. In a separate bowl, I'm going to go ahead and add in some brown sugar. I'm just fluffing it with my fingers to make sure there's no big clumps. And to that, I'm going to go ahead and add in some unsalted butter that I had already melted and cooled. You don't want this to be really hot, so just make sure that you give it time to cool before you add it in. At this point, we are going to get we are going to go ahead and take our handheld mixer and we're just going to mix this until it's really fluffy and light. And at that point, this is what it will look like. Now we are going to go ahead and add in one egg at a time, making sure to mix after each egg. And after we add the second egg, go ahead and mix some more. At this point, we're going to go ahead and add in a dash of vanilla. I do about a tablespoon, but really just measure with your heart. Go ahead and incorporate incorporate that in and make sure that you're scraping the sides of your bowls as you go just to make sure nothing is left behind. At this point we're going to go ahead and add in half of the flour mixture and we're going to just roughly kind of incorporate that in and then we're going to go ahead and add in the other half. The dough is going to be a little bit thicker and stickier, so don't panic. Um, it's definitely not going to be like a regular brownie dough. Once again, we are going to scrape the sides of our bowls, make sure there's no flour left over. And now, we're going to add in the chocolate eggs. I'm using robin eggs, I think they're called, um, but you can use Cadbury or whatever you want, or even just use plain M&M's. And now we are going to go ahead and put that into our prepared pan. Um, I did grease the pan and put some um, parchment paper down just so it's easier to remove. And again, the dough is a bit tough, so you're going to have to work a little bit to get it into the pan. But it's totally worth it. Let me tell you, these are absolutely delicious. Once it's all combined and flat, I'm going to take some of my M&Ms and I'm just going to put it over the top. Um, making sure to kind of push them in with my palm as I'm doing it just so that they're kind of in there and once that is all set I'm going to go ahead and put it into the oven at 350 for 26 to 28 minutes let it cool for about an hour and then you can go ahead and enjoy